so today we are going to uh, do one lab test on uh, wireless LAN controller so it is a <coughs> packet tracer simulator in which we can do so as you can see in my lab uh, i have configured one dhcp server which is giving providing ip to access point and the controller uh, controller it has uh, already one ip address uh, that you if uh, you right click in the controller so you will get the ip address that is by default okay so let's quickly do one by the one uh, just go to uh, system and web browser and type the ip address of the controller 192.168.1.1 okay so as you see it's prompted for to create a, a username and password so create username like admin and password i'm giving admin at one two three and confirm password as well admin at one two three okay start now just open it and uh, give the system name like uh, my wlc any name that you can give it is up to you and time zone any time zone that you want to or you where you are you can give the time zone so like i'm giving <coughs> this time zone and management ip address you can keep the same management ip address or different as well so i'm giving the same ip address okay subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and default gateway default gateway of the dscp server that i have given that is ip 1.2 okay next and uh, enter your network you have to create one ssid so i want to create one ssid like uh, home wi-fi okay security personal passphrase one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay now configure next and next and then apply so it is prompted for to that system will reboot okay no problem just click on okay it will take some time so now you have to just uh, type the same ip address on the command prompt and this time with the secure http so https and just enter so it is prompted to login so just log in with the credential that you have provided earlier admin admin at one two three okay and then login so you see that you got the console of the wlc and uh, here go to that wlan and create one more wlan if you can connect with this uh, as well if you want to, to create one more then you can then create new and uh, give the like uh, wireless okay ssid also same wireless vlan id that you can pro give any vlan id it's no matter because the ip address you will get from the dhcp server now status keep it uh, uh, enable and apply okay now click on wlan again and you have two wlans and let's see if you are getting in your uh, access points these ssid or not in access point just try right click or move the cursor above the access point you see that there are two uh, providing WLANs home Wi-Fi and wireless and in this as well so you are getting the SSID you can connect your devices with these access point okay so let's connect few devices I'm just choosing one laptop and one a smartphone okay that's it and uh, just uh, remove its uh, ethernet adapter and connect the wireless 
open and go to desktop config and wireless and type the SSID that you are getting in your um, access point so you are you are getting two X uh, where SSID home Wi-Fi and wireless so anyone you can choose to connect like I'm going to connect wireless okay and that's it and click on and you see that you are connected with this uh, access point now you can connect with uh, a smartphone as well just configure <coughs> wireless and uh, type here home Wi-Fi okay WPSK key 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 zero okay and just click okay so it will click shortly so this uh, smartphone is connected as well so you have to access point that is uh, quite near each other so that's why you are getting the clients from one ap and not another one so it is because of the uh, they are very near okay to each other so if you shut down this ap by removing the power source then these two client will be connected to another one okay as you've seen so hope you have enjoyed this video